welcome, dear listeners, to another episode of Unlock Your English Mastery. I'm your host Giselle, and today we're diving into a topic that resonates with many of us: the contentious nature of language proficiency tests, particularly exams like IELTS. Now, critics argue that these tests can be seen as futile endeavors, triggering undue stress and embarrassment for test takers. The pressure to perform well in a limited time frame can create an environment that, some say, doesn't actually reflect one's true language abilities. You see, it's not just about showcasing linguistic prowess. It's about doing so under conditions that might not mirror real-world language use. The emotional toll of stress and tension during these exams may overshadow genuine linguistic competence. It's like trying to evaluate a chef's skills by making them cook in the midst of a high-stakes cooking competition. It's not an accurate representation of their everyday capabilities. And then there is the financial side of things. Preparing for these tests often comes with a hefty price tag, from study materials to the actual test fees. Critics argue that this financial investment adds an unnecessary burden, making the experience not only challenging but also expensive. So, is this expenditure always correlated with a meaningful assessment of language skills? That's the question that echoes in the minds of those who question the utility of these tests. But here's the kicker: disappointment. For some, the aftermath of suboptimal results can be disheartening. It leads to questioning the overall utility of these tests. The argument against their efficacy emphasizes the importance of considering alternative means of evaluating language proficiency that are less stressful and resource-intensive. It's like saying, "Why judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree when you could be assessing its swimming skills?" Conclusion: The debate around language proficiency tests is multifaceted. While they aim to standardize assessment, critics argue that the one-size-fits-all approach doesn't consider the diversity of language skills and learning styles. As we wrap up today's episode, I encourage you to share your thoughts with us on social media. Are language proficiency tests a necessary evil? Or an outdated measure of linguistic ability. Thank you for joining me today on Unlock Your English Mastery. Until next time, keep questioning, keep learning, and remember there is more to language than what a test can measure.